Hello everyone, welcome to the next video in a series of Linux tutorials. So in this video, we will see some commands uh, using which we can uh, read the contents of a file. So here we have a list of some files, this dcg.cpt, dcg2 and some other files. So if you want to see the contents of this file, there is a command called cat. So cat, uh, which has several other features also, you can use cat to see the contents of this file dcg.cpt so if i just simply type cat dcg.cpt and enter so you can see the contents of this file yeah if you do cat dcg enter there is no file like this so dcg2 enter and you can see the contents of this file so this file you can see it's quite long it's very difficult to read using this cat command so instead of using this cat command we can use some other command to read this file so uh, you can use more and then you type this tcg2 enter and you can see that now you're getting one page at a time on your terminal so if you type type enter you will see more and more lines appearing on your term on your screen so it's it's more easier to read it uh, but it's difficult to read whole document because we cannot go down by just simply scrolling we just need to keep typing it so uh, instead of this more command there is less command or less then you can type tcg2 and enter so now you can move both sided so less is uh, kind of more of more so uh, you can use uh, less to read it even more elegantly uh, if, if I simply type more plus one and uh, then this TCG 2 then you can see one screen at a time yeah uh, similarly uh, uh, there are other commands called head if I type head uh, uh, and then th this TCG uh, 2 and enter so it will enter the first 10 lines of this file and if i there is another command called tail and dcg2 and enter so it will uh, print the last 10 lines of this file so it's sometimes very easy if you if you want to uh, print only one first one line of the file you simply type head minus one dcg and it will print out only the first line of this file Similarly, if you want to print only the last one line of the file, just print like this. So it's very easy sometimes to read the file and uh, you can even use this output for various purposes which we will see in the other set of videos. Thank you for watching.